Hello, today we're doing a long form video about Jump Malcolm Jump. Here's the short I made about it a while ago. Welcome back, welcome back. A little back. bit loud, sorry about that. Six. Show must go on. Today we're looking at Jump, Malcolm Jump, Malcolm Jump. It is basically jumping. looks like it's a game about jumping and it has the word Jump Malcolm Jump like a hundred times on the Steam page. I did, a, I did a quick test run today, but uh, Here's the, the, the let's play. What I'm going to do is uh, play the game for 10 minutes and uh, go from there. So you see, I already customized my character here. Whoops, sorry about that. Victor Vortex. I already have a hat and everything. But let's let's start from... S oh, you can't. You can't delete characters. Okay, whatever. Uh, let's... Let's go from the beginning. Oh, I see. Victor Vortex again. <laughs> let's see, let's use this guy. Profile exists. Oh, let's go two. All right. So the aim here is to play the games for ten minutes and then see how we like them. I guess. Simple as that. Where's that text? Collect orbs. Orbs give rewards that can be used in, to customize Victor Victor Vortex to Malcolm. Jump. Malcolm. Jump and dash. Dashometer. Keep an eye on the dashometer in the top right. Dashing is only available in screen. I don't. I don't think I really need to. Oh my God! Here we go. Gosh. Jump and dash. Checkpoints. Checkpoints save your progress. Press R to quickly respawn. Oh, I see. There we go. Level one complete. Thank you very much. What if we don't want to go to level one? I thought this was the default Unity uh, background, but it is not. It is still just as gray <laughs> down there, though, than the Unity one is. Or as the Unity one is. Ah, shit. The quick reset's actually pretty good. I like it. Oh fuck. Damn it. This can be a lot of jumping and a lot of malcoming. Oh my god, I can't believe I reached that. Oh. I'm just not patient. I'm just not patient. Sorry. Sorry, not sorry. On to the next one. On to the next one. How come some of the environments like knocked around and some of it's just standing there? This is such a weird place, you know? There's like tables and chairs that are super tiny in this massive room. Who can make sense of it all? Look at me go. The music's getting kind of... Getting kind of aberrated. There's an aberration in the music. It's like a little bit staticky or something, a little bit compressed. Walk, hold, jump, dash. Hell yeah. Why the checkpoints all the way back here? Damn it. Do we can get on this? Oh. Went outside the world there for a second. Whoops. Checkpoint. We did it. Another level completed. Jump, Malcolm, jump, Malcolm. Look at this. 
exploits. Here we go. Ah, oh, shit. Maybe we can get to that one. Oh. It's possible. Here we go. Ah! Damn it. Oh. I could have probably got there the normal way, but... Oh my god. I know it's possible. Whatever. Let's just do it the normal way. Jump. <clears throat> oh. oh boy. Malcolm, jump, Malcolm. Oh, we're in the city. Hello. Too bad my footsteps are louder than the music. Well, we could change that, right? There we go. Resume. Everything's so shiny. at this place. Jump, Malcolm, jump, Malcolm, you're on the roof. Oh. It's kind of a shame that you can fall through everything. But I guess it has to be that way to avoid, like, play testing and, you know, just in case there's, like, somewhere you can jump that helps you. If you can't reach anything, then you don't even need to test it. Bingo. Checkpoint so far back. There we go, there we go. Yeah. This music reminds me of like a swarm of bees. We only have a minute of gameplay left. Not in this game, but I only wanted to play each game for about 10 minutes, so... I feel like we can get the gist of it in 10 minutes. There we go. Let's see if we can see one more biome before I'm fit fully uh, done playing. What the? Uh... 
No checkpoint? Man. Where am I supposed to go? Oh. There we go. 40 seconds left. Come on, let's see another biome. Ah, uh, we're not gonna get to see another biome, probably. Ah! Alright, well, let's see what we got in the customization side of things, and then uh, I guess we're done. For today, we got... What is this? Oh, is that like a chit pack? Backpack. What's this? A badge? A neck? Oh my god, look at my look at my Malcolm. He's decked out. Very cool. Alright. That was the game. Let's see, did I get in the leaderboards anywhere? Local. Online. Victor Vortex, here I am. Top scores. Victor Vortex number five. There you go. Very cool. <clears throat> Alright, what the hell are these buttons? Oh, I see. Oh, I see. This is the levels. Oh, there's also volcanoes and forests. Looks like only two people have played this game other than me to that part. Okay, what I also wanted to do... There we go. What I also wanted to do is give this game a score, you know? Uh, I made these icons. No, I didn't. Wait, but maybe I did. I can't remember who made them. I have plausible deniability. Uh, okay, so an A plus would be an incredible game and an F would be um, the opposite of that. So let's see where we would go with this. I'm thinking somewhere somewhere oops somewhere around here maybe I'm gonna say that there's the acid flippy games that I'm gonna play are probably in the F category so I think it has to be at least in this direction we're gonna give it a we're going to give it a C tier. C for Jump Malcolm Jump. Thank you very much for coming by. I'll see you on the next video.